we're dining where we got married. <laughs> Let's eat. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. You are watching the Theme Park Foodies. We're back again, Sam, at a place that's very special to both of us. <laughs> Paddlefish. Yeah, so Paddlefish used to be Fulton's Crab House. It used to have a character meal inside of it, and it was highly revered by Walt Disney World aficionados before our time, before we were. Yeah, Disney but World before it was Fulton's, it opened in 1977 as the Empress Lily. Yes. Which is named after Walt's wife. And she actually christened the ship when it opened. Yeah. There's and a lot of history in this ship. When it opened, it was actually there was three uh, restaurants and a like a jazz bar inside. Until Fulton's took it over in the nineties, made it into a seafood joint, and then Paddlefish, I think, opened in twenty seventeen. Yeah. We actually went here on our first trip. Yes. Like just kind of it on just a opened. Whim. Yeah, as Paddlefish. Um, it's a very boisterous ship. You'll definitely notice it if you're taking one of those boats in from the resorts. Um, it sits right on the dock here. It's it's not it doesn't float or anything. It's stationary. It's, yeah, it's stationary. <laughs> um, it has a lot of competition though because it's right near Boathouse. Boathouse yeah. is literally down the road. So a lot of people walk past Paddlefish. We've had varied experiences here. I would say our first time ever was okay. Um, I think our wedding food was delicious. They had something here that you're not even a seafood fan that you liked that yeah, they don't have the anymore. Yeah, lobster corn dogs. Yes, those are gone, unfortunately. They were revered again by Disney fans, and their, their menu changes consistently. So I'm interested to see what's on their menu right now. Last time we came here, we just kind of walked in and ate at the bar. They had some really good sandwiches, fish tacos, a fish sandwich, and you had... You had the black and catfish that you really liked. Yes, it, and, and the fish tacos were the good. the muffaletta. Like, we've come here all the time, and we never vlog it. And, like, yeah. after the last time, we were like, we have to show this. Yes. The we sandwich give them a, so good. Yeah, we want to give them a good shake. See what's good. <laughs> but the muffaletta, you didn't see on the menu today, right? Yeah, on but website, I don't know if they... Because it was added in October, and I don't know if they actually updated the site. So we'll yeah. see. We will definitely see because we have a six o'clock reservation to dine where we got married right near Valentine's Day. So, you know, I'm ready for this date night. I'm very hungry. Are you ready? I'm ready. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dinner date night at Battlefish. So this is the bow of the ship. You can see right there is the Saratoga Springs Resort, which we had stayed out previously as well, Sam. And then where we got married is right at the very top deck. You can get married up there. And you can go through, you can go book directly through Paddlefish or you can use a service. We actually use the company called Just Marry. Yes, and we had our lunch up there too. The lunch was very good. Yeah, One the, of our better experiences We, we here. picked the spot because I wanted something where it had a beautiful ceremony and then like the reception was immediately yeah. following and like very close and convenient for everybody. The reception is, is actually indoors. It's uh, right underneath where those smoke st smokestacks were. But uh, we were eating in the standard dining area. Just so you guys know, they do have live music and a happy hour from 8 p.m. to close on Fridays and Saturdays. There are great views of Rainforest Cafe here, too. And that volcano will go off, so you get a little show while you dine, if you're on the right side. All right, we're going to the second level, Sam. We haven't eaten on the second level in a while. Yes, yeah, Sam, we've been seated. By the way, great, great view. You can see T-Rex Cafe over yonder the uh, volcanoes behind me, but I don't see any sandwiches, muffaletta, fish tacos. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna ask them if maybe there's a separate bar menu we were seeing them on. For lunch? Yeah. So what lunch we Maybe lunch and dinner are different. No, we're gonna ask, but, you know, I'm not seeing any sandwiches, although I am, I am not uh, against anything on this menu. A lot of these things look good. All right, update. I was right, it is only for lunch. Yes, yeah, so were the fish tacos and uh, the fish sandwich that I had. That sandwich is day. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come back for lunch, guys, if you want the uh, muffaletta, which we highly recommend, but we'll be trying everything else on the menu. All right, we got a lot of food, Sam. And you... Oh, yeah, there's a live candle at the table. And she turned the the menu to put it out. I got a mocktail, the lemonade or basil lemonade. And I got the housemaid sangria, the red, and it's, I've had this before and it's, it's really amazing. I honestly think it's my favorite sangria. Fresh fruit on the top. It's like how sangria should be. And I think, I think it's like a party 
glass for fourteen dollars. Yeah. Like Jay's mocktail was eleven dollars for three dollars more. I got. You got alcohol. House made sangria. So. <laughs> I'm going nine. Is it no, wow nine? Is it sweet? Um, it's sweet, but it's not like overly sweet. Okay. It's like seltzer, fresh fruit, um, fruity like liqueurs in it that they add. Yeah, that, that seltzer, I think, it really complements the flavor of the alcohol and the sweetness of the uh, different... Uh, it's definitely something set. that, like, you can just keep drinking. Not even realize. <laughs> All right, fried green tomatoes. I haven't had a fried green tomato in so long. Do you remember the last time I had one? I bet you don't even remember. I don't remember the last time I had one. At the plaza. Oh, remember? in Disney World, in Magic Kingdom? In Magic Kingdom, they had it, I remember. So if you've never had a fried green tomato, it's like an unripe tomato. So they're not as sweet as like a regular tomato and then it's fried and then this actually comes with elote and queso fresco on top and a remoulade. So this is like a, I feel like a different take. Yes. Fried green tomato, but I like queso on anything. So. Yeah, elote and queso and fried, like. It's so fun. The remoulade has like a little kick to it. The remoulade is really good. It's like super creamy. Mm. Is it tomato like chewy dolls? Is it like crisp? I feel like oh, it's more. It's more um, firm. Yeah, I feel like a green tomato is like crisp. It has like a little yeah. tomato. So it's part. It's and it's it's the tomato is tart. It's not like. Like a little red tomato. Yeah. Like the corn adds a good texture. This sauce is so good. This is really, really good. Queso elevates everything that's, that's involved with it. Not just the queso, it's the ramelon that I'm talking about. Oh, gonna, okay. Just the mix of the ramelon, the creamy, the corn. This is really delicious and I feel like really different, not something that, you know, I see often. And I feel like I like their taste on a fried green tomato. I think like it just works really well. And the coat, like the fried, it almost looks like a chicken cutlet. Like it's fried really well. One out of ten. I'm thinking that's an eight. And there's three of them. It's a yeah. nice portion. Good size portion. All right, so this is the strawberry basil lemonade. It's a mocktail, so no alcohol in this one. Fresh strawberries, basil, lemonade, and Sprite. I do feel like it is a little pricey, though, at $11. The Sprite was like, it's almost a little flat Sprite. Um, which, I feel like the Sprite would make it better, but it's still good. It's definitely in like a Powerade, Fruit punch, fruit punch mix that you usually get like Boma or something. It's it's delicious. It's good. I like the basil. Uh, yeah, an eight or a mocktail. For it's a mocktail, eight. it's not a cocktail. Eight. But for me, that's a good amount of sweetness, right amount of bite. Very very good. There are also two other drinks on the menu that are also like a little um, ode to Lily. So it's Lily Steamboat Breeze, and then there's the Mayan Empress. So the Empress Lily. There you go. Mm. All right. So this is the crab cake. This actually comes with a fried green tomato sandwich. Uh, crab cake on top. Oh my god, I was going to say, why does that look like mine? Yeah. At the bottom, if you look, you can see I'll take it off. There's the fried green tomato right there. We're just, we haven't had them in years, and now we're having four in one night. <laughs> look at us. All right, and it has like some corn at the bottom. It got dark out. Yeah, we came right at sunset. I feel like we weren't even paying attention to the sunset because we were like taking pictures of the food. That's good. I think I had a crab cake here a while ago that didn't, it wasn't served like this. And, you know, this is good. Wow. You also have the remoulade sauce, so you have that same sauce that I have on my... Yeah. Isn't it good? Right it has like a little kick, like it's not... It's not too spicy. That's great. Look, the crab cake is fresh. Wow. They do seafood very well. It's got that, that fried green tomato, which gives it like that crisp kind of flavor. 
and then it moistens it a bit with that like sauce at the bottom. The remoulade. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah, nice. Good. And there is a rooftop bar here. I don't know if we mentioned that. What did you say? There's a rooftop bar. Yes. Yeah, it's right above us. We'll try right. to show you. It's very nice. Yeah. We also got some fresh bread. I feel like this was warmer when it came to the sandwich. Yeah, well, sand. it's been like 20 minutes. Yeah, we took a lot of pictures. Stuff. You could feel it was warm. So you do get warm, fresh bread with dinner, not with lunch. I was going to say, we haven't had the bread because we always come for lunch yeah. the last couple it's like times. like a whipped, soft butter. The exterior, it's almost like a spider bread. The exterior is very crispy and it's broken up into like little different rolls. Those two were better. It's all right. It's not going to be a crab cake. It's a spread. I'm happy it has bread because this sauce is very dippable. Yeah. Actually, I didn't know. But it's like a, I don't want to say stale, a little crisp on the outside. It's a good red service. Not the best. It ain't red lobster, you know? It's those cheddar bay biscuits. But it's good. I'll give it a five. It's not bad. Not great. It's okay. I, think, I, think, I like that it's your, because a lot of places in Disney aren't giving bread service right now. So, I like it. Sam has desaladed. Oh, yeah, this, I've never seen that before. Um. There was a lot of lettuce on it. Overkill. I actually had this for our wedding. This was on the menu. The yes, this was on our menu at the wedding. It is the salad. It's got succotash at the bottom, right? It's what? Succotash at the bottom. It's uh, edamame bacon succotash. Ooh. And uh, there's you know, chicken and there's uh, like a Carolina mock sauce, which is like a barbecue sauce. I always like this dish. I also like when we were on vacation, I would come and get this too because it's like a light dish. So you know how like when you're eating so heavy on your trip, like it's nice sometimes to not eat something so, you know, disgusting. So. I agree. Not that you can do that, but... I eat lots of disgusting things. And I like the bacon succotash. The bacon that it's in here is so good. Smells really good. Yeah, to mix it in with that succotash, yeah, you know? There's like no shortage of this edamame succotash. It is all over. I like it. It's juicy chicken with like barbecue stuff. It's not like the most like inventive dish. I, I feel like the bacon doesn't overpower the dish too. I've had this before. It kind of just complements <laughs> the flavor of the chicken. Yeah, it's like a subtle little like smoked bacon paste mixed in. And then you have the texture of the chicken with the edamame, yeah, with just, the bacon. It's just like for me, it's just a solid dish. Like if you're coming though to like really impress someone, like I don't think it's like, you know, the most fancy creative thing, but it's just a solid like light meal. I don't have bacon subtest too often, so I try to like seize the opportunity to have it. One out of ten. I would give this a mm. Okay. Alright. We got the stuff. I got the stuff. <laughs> God, that's like mustard seed on top. Like red tomatoes on the side. So it's a shrimp and scallop cornbread stuffing, oh. asparagus, red potato, mustard cream sauce. This is the mustard cream. Look at that cornbread sauce. I feel like that's a very Jason. Yeah, this feels like they made this for me. Mustard, cornbread, potatoes. It's got everything going on. It's got that sweetness. A little bit of the spice with the mustard seed. I like things with full mustard seed too. Oh, I didn't squeeze my lemon. Those potatoes look good. You want to share one? I am open to sharing. You got a lot. That's a lot of potato. They're very soft. Not as buttery as you'd expect, but that's probably the, a good thing for my stomach. Man, yeah, very soft. The mustard seed has a good, like, little kick with the sweetness of the cornbread. And then the texture of the cornbread really complements 
the texture of the cod. And the former kind of melts into it. Very good. Although maybe it can use a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna go eight. I think I've been eight recently. But this is a very original, good dish, fresh fish. It's not taste fishy. It has full mustard seeds, some big fan of And then it has that cornbread. Just an original, delicious yeah. you know, this is an They do have desserts here. The chocolate mousse cake is probably what intrigues me the most, but I am in the mood for a cookie sundae. And I think the key lime pie is kind of like what they're known for. I don't know. I might skip on dessert though. All right, I couldn't help myself. I got the chocolate mousse cake. Oh, that's really good. This looks a lot better than the brownie. The only dessert I've ever had here, besides the during our wedding, was the brownie. You ever had a milkshake? Remember there was like a brownie milkshake and it had like caramel corn oh, on it? Good. That was yeah. the first time we were here. This that was really good. Very good. Um, it just has chocolate mousse and berries, but there definitely is some sort of brownie bottom. Let's see how it peels off. So. Hopefully came off like a moose cake. Take a look at that. Mm. I like the fresh fruit on top. Yeah. I like fresh fruit with like dark chocolate. Now, it's more like gelatinous. Not like a gel, but you see it's very sturdy. I feel like mousse is usually a little bit more airy. Not as airy as I expected. I like this stuff at the top too. This is like a dark chocolate. And this I think is a milk. Let me see. It's like chocolate shavings. Yeah. 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 Coming to dark food. You know, that's milk and that's dark. Very good. Very enjoyable. Not the best mousse cake I've had in Disney. But I enjoy mousse cake. It's a good mousse cake. I think it was in the seven category. Not the best, not the worst, but average. Very good. Yeah, I've never felt like the desserts like were, you know, the selling point here. Yeah. I, I really think. The pie. Yeah, we did like a mini dessert trio for the wedding along with our wedding cake. Yeah, like the Elon pie dessert. But um, I just feel like it's just not what they're known for. I think it's really more like the fresh seafood, the sandwiches, really good drinks. Yeah, that crab cake is the best crab cake. Ever. I sell a nine of a crab cake. That was the highlight of this meal. My cob was very good. Everything is original though, which I think is important because there's, you want to separate yourself from your competitors around here, you know? And uh, moose cake's good, Sam. I hope you have a bite yourself. Just wanted to give an update. This is definitely more of a cake bottom than a brownie bottom. Just so you guys know, they are known for the seafood boils. They're quite expensive though. You got the snow crab, the whole main lobster, peel and eat pink shrimp. This sounds good, this is the pink shrimp. I mean, everything, all this, all this sounds good. What am I saying? All right, we're gonna take the elevator up to the rooftop bar now that we're done eating. I remember my dad's scooter could not fit in, like barely fit in. Yeah, elevator. it's a tiny elevator. Yeah. All right, we're oh, at the top. Oh, yeah. All right, we're out. Oh, the fire is going off, Sam. I love it up here, and at sunset, it's so beautiful. Yeah. This is the back end of the boat. Uh, you could dine right here at this window, and then, uh, or out here, you order from the bartender. It's a little cold out tonight, so you won't see as many patrons, but it is a beautiful area with great food and beautiful views. They have like the best views at Disney Springs. Yeah, I've said that at all the restaurants. I would agree with that, that 100%. It's one of the reasons we got married here. Um, I think we can't go to the front of the boat because there is a rehearsal dinner. Oh, you can see the music going off. You can actually well, hear the music. Inside. We could walk around. Yeah. Since Matt getting married, this has become quite a popular spot, but you can see that sign right there. It's closed due to a private event, but that is where we got married, right there. And you can see the boats going by. That's uh, either one of the Port Orleans boats or a boat for Saratoga Springs. You can even see the Ampa cars go by. These leave out of the boathouse. Look at this view of Disney Springs too. You got the um, characters in flight in the background, Planet Hollywood, Circus Soleil, Boathouse. You can see everything. All right, so that does it for our date night dinner at the restaurant we got married at. 
paddlefish. Who would have thought, Sam? You don't need seafood. You got married at a seafood restaurant, right? <laughs> no, I know, but that's how good it is, though. <laughs> yeah. And like, there are seafood things here that I will eat, like the lobster or dogs. I actually also like well, the jumbo shrimp that they have. Their shrimp is good. But where'd my wife go? Where, who's, who's eating shrimp here? <laughs> I've eaten shrimp I've, here. Yeah, I've tried to push the shrimp on here again. But here. I've had shrimp here. She before. has. She, and she has enjoyed it. The shrimp is very it's not fishy at all it's very fresh here um i would say it's comparable to the shrimp at the boathouse i'm not sure if they're sourced from the same place i'm assuming they would be i mean it would assure two shrimp competitors drive past each other going to <laughs> disney springs I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure they're the same shrimp who knows though uh i really did enjoy my meal here they changed the menu up a few times since we've last been here yeah uh, i think what the most the best thing that i had tonight was that crab cake yeah, and that's not why fishy. I do. My appetizer too. Yeah. Like that blew me away, and I'm not. I wasn't expecting fried green tomatoes to be like the star of the meal. No, they were crisp, well fried. Uh, the batter the was sauce perfect. The was sauce so was delicious. Good. Um, it was my a good portion. yes, I love the mustard seed with the sweet notes, and then the uh, very flaky cod. Very good with, for my dish as well, and then your dish, the chicken. I love it. It's always it's always juicy. It's I like it. Yeah, it's not. I don't think if I was trying to impress someone, I don't. I, and I was trying to sell them on paddlefish, I wouldn't push that dish on them. I don't think it's, it's a like, solid dish. It was good a for good our wedding, dish, but it's yeah. not People like pleaser. you know. Yeah. The best. The muffaletta. If I was trying to That's get for somebody lunch. to team paddlefish. We, I would say muffin. We recommend coming for lunch or maybe stopping by the bar for lunch too because I actually think the sandwiches and the shrimp tacos are better than their uh, d dinner. I do like the dinner menu a lot, but I just think they, they're they uh, they a bit more, I don't know, uh, they, they're a bit more of a highlight to me. Yeah. I, I do think the weaker options we had were the bread service, which comes with the meal, so okay, and uh, the dessert. The dessert was good, it was good. but it wasn't like I've had, like there are so many great moose cakes and chocolate mousse here at Disney. I mean, talk about that, like uh, that lava cake they have at California Grill, as well as what they have at um, Riv the Riviera, Topolino's oh, Terrace. Yeah. You know, it's just hard. Like those flourless chocolate yeah. cakes. Yeah, so, so it's good. hard to compete with that, but it was solid, it was good. I recommend it. I'd probably recommend maybe stopping by Ghirardelli or Gideon's for dessert. Yeah, you're for, also near yeah. uh, Swirls on the Water. Like, yeah. I just feel like this is such a great location, and I really think it has the best views. And if you have the opportunity, if the weather permits, I really recommend eating yeah. outside. Yeah, and it's a beautiful area, beautiful just, restaurant, it, beautiful place to get married if you want to get married. <laughs> If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out to the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing, it also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out. Which is Wednesday? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thank you so much for watching. Don't count the days. Make the days count. We will see you next time. If you watch next time. Do you hear the music? I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm That's asking all, you like you're going to answer me. <laughs> Over there. Yeah, it's booming. Hopefully it doesn't Where's get flagged. Mitch? Oh yeah, our Mitch, Mitch our Florida passport you. on see, Instagram. He posted a, a picture of the dragon. Yeah. He literally was right there. So he's right there. We're gonna Hi, go Mitch. find Mitch. Uh, hello, Mitch.